Hey guys, welcome to Protocol Orders Point. Okay, so Flutter is now with the biggest update that supports Windows applications. So Flutter 2.10 release stable version by making use of which we can develop Windows applications. Okay, so let's begin with the tutorial. Okay, so in this tutorial, we're gonna upgrade our Flutter SDK to 2.10. So let's begin. So first of all, just open your terminal. So I will just open my command prompt as run as admin. So here you need to uh, type some commands before upgrading your Flutter SDK version to 2.10. So the first command is you must check the Flutter SDK version. So for that Flutter version. So just search for it. So as you can see I have installed uh, Flutter SDK version that is 2.6.0. Okay so now we need to run a Flutter doctor command. So for that enter flutter doctor okay so here we need to check if all the dependencies that is platform dependencies is been installed properly or no and if there is some error it will show in a red uh, cross signal over here and you just need to complete it uh, before upgrading your flutter sdk okay so now you can see there is no issue found on my system okay and now here just press flutter upgrade Okay, so this will upgrade your Flutter SDK version to latest version. So before doing this, make sure you are connected to a good speed internet connection. Okay, so let's wait. So you can see it is upgrading to 2.10.0.1.0 something. Okay, so let's wait for it to get upgraded. Okay, so Flutter SDK version has been successfully upgraded. So let me okay so you can see my Flutter sdk version has been upgraded to 2.11 i think today they have launched uh, 2.11 okay so now again uh, enter flutter doctor to check if any dependencies are required for this version okay so you can see there is no requirement uh, for dependency platform dependency okay so we have successfully upgraded our Flutter sdk to 2.11 now okay so there is one more requirement that you need to do if you want to build a windows application by making use of flutter so for that uh, you need to install visual studio installer so just google it and install this google uh, visual studio installer and open it okay so now here in visual studio community uh, 2019 uh, click on modification okay so i have already installed visual studio community so if you are not done you just need to install this one and here while installation there are some requirement you need to select okay so here as you are going to build a windows application by making use of flutter you just need to install this package that is desktop development with c++ so just select it and here there are some requirement so just select windows 10 sdk if you are using windows 10 else windows 11 so in my case it is windows 10 so just select the latest version and modify so it will take about 6 gb of space okay so it is installing okay so installation got completed and you can see i need to restart my system so let's do that okay, so i have just restarted my system so now just open command prompt again as admin okay and now here again run flutter doctor and check if everything is good okay as you can see everything looks good okay so now if i uh, start my android studio and create new flutter project by default uh, a windows module will not get set up for us so for that we just need to run one more command by enabling uh, windows desktop so for that run flutter config enable windows desktop okay so just run this command so this will enable uh, windows support for your uh, system okay so it is showing me an error so let me check why so i think that is two hyphen sign okay so you can see setting enable windows desktop value is been set to true and now you just need to restart 
any of your android studio or any ide that is open you just need to restart it to apply these changes okay so now if i open android studio and create new flutter project over there let's do that okay so in android studio let's create a new flutter project and here you can see there are some options to be selected so android is enabled ios is enabled and windows is enabled in my system but as you can see a uh, windows that is not enabled sorry i said windows over here so windows is not enabled so just select the uh, available uh, platform and create a flutter project okay so flutter uh, project got created and as, as you can see android ios and web model is been created but there is no windows model over here so now just go to the terminal of your android studio ide and here you just need to re uh, run the same command that is enabling the windows desktop so let's do that so flutter config enable windows desktop and hit enter okay so it's done so i need to restart the ide so what i will do is i will just go to files and re invalid catch and restart okay so now here you just need to run one more command that is flutter create platform platforms is equal to here you just need to define the platform for which you want to develop a uh, application so in my case i want to enable for windows okay and you can just specify uh, other operating system such as mac os and others so you just need to do something like this okay so for now i will just uh, enable and create uh, windows model of our and uh, flutter project okay so just enter this command and hit enter okay so you can see it is creating a windows folder in our existing flutter project okay so we have successfully built uh, the folders so let's check you can see there is a windows folder over here and now we can just build our flutter project or run our flutter project in our windows operating system as windows app okay so let's try if it is working or no okay so as you can see our flutter project has been got built as a windows operating system app and you can just run this application in your uh, windows operating system okay so that's all for this video tutorial uh, thanks for watching please do subscribe protocol as point thank you